Okay, guys, here we go. Um, my name's Joseph. I'm going to read you a passage from the book of Zechariah. Apparently, I'm going to be a pastor uh, at some point in my life, so uh, I better start doing uh, what this lovely book says. This is my uh, Pastor Chris a devotional uh, study Bible. <laughs> it's all good, as you can tell. I'm a personal trainer. I'm at the gym, and uh, my name's Joseph, for those of you who don't know me. I'm an exercise specialist and rehabilitation specialist, and I'm talking about diabetes prevention and obesity awareness. And I'm also using scriptures to help get across the message that people should not be, as it says in the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6, that you should not be perished for lack of knowledge, <laughs> and um, you should use your wisdom carefully to do what you're meant to be doing and not basically be silly with your, with your body, yeah? There's a passage here from Zechariah 8, 7, verse 8, where it, where it says, When Jerusalem was inhabited and in prosperity, the cities thereof round about her, when men inhabited the south and the plain, what that means, basically, when Jerusalem, meaning people, when people inhabited the areas that they were meant to live in reality, they were prosperous because they had the right things in the right place that they were meant to be doing, and they were within reach of the cities or the towns and villages around where they are meant to live. But when you're in the wrong location, now this is regarding business, right? When you're in the wrong location, you cannot prosper. You'll be in the wrong conditions. The wrong economic area will be, you know, where you live. Basically, you'll have things like anxiety, um, irritation, frustration will creep in. You'll have self-doubt. Lack of confidence will come to, uh, towards you and you will not get what you want if you were in the wrong location. So make sure that in this context, when Jerusalem, meaning the people, are inhabited in the correct area, wherever they're meant to live, London, Vancouver, it doesn't matter where in the world, when you're in the right area, you will prosper in every part of your life. And it also says in the book of John, which is not the letter, so the letter, the epistle of John 3, Verses 1. I should be able to find it quickly. Sorry, it's 2 John. I'll do this quickly. Beloved, I pray that you shall be in good health and prosper just as your soul prospereth. Now, what that means basically is when you're in the correct mindset, when you have the love and abundance in your mind, that there is no thing that is beyond you. You can get everything that you want if you know how to, if you're healthy, if you understand where you are in life, and basically if you're doing the correct things with your life. I pray that you should be prosperous and get in good health. Prosperity is not just financial. It's about knowing yourself, how to get healthy and fit, being healthy, obviously, being part of the scripture. I pray that you shall prosper and be in good health. Now, to prosper is to be happy, to know yourself, to know where you're going in life, and to know everything that you are meant to be doing on this earth. If you need to, if any of you want to know more about myself, I'm a personal trainer, nutritionist, dance teacher, Pilates teacher, living near London in Dartford. I do online coaching. I mentor people in relationships, health, wealth, love and happiness, the four parts of your life. Basically, um, be the diabetes specialist and nutritional specialist. I help people with where they might be going in life and um, stop them from being perished for lack of knowledge, giving them knowledge, the tools to, to, get, to get done everything that they need to get done. And yeah, basically that's it, guys. It's been a pleasure. My number, WhatsApp me, zero seven nine eight three, one five nine six seven eight. My email, 
lifestyle nutrition 2000 at gmail.com it's been a pleasure guys and uh, next time i look at the camera more because i'm used to looking at myself and not that little thing there add me on snapchat linkedin follow me on youtube instagram pinterest facebook twitter tumblr periscope and meetup.com and guys that's it soon i'll have my website and um this is going on YouTube and I'm going to throw it out there guys. See you later. Bye.